shortly after our show yesterday. Tyrod Taylor will be the starter in Buffalo this year. Um, that was the direction that almost all of our analysts were leaning over Castle and Manuel. All of them played well in the third preseason game the other night. Are you surprised no. that Rex went with Taylor? No, th- and this was truly a a a an open competition. Nobody had a handle on this job. So it was going to be what you showed in the preseason. Remember, it's not just the games. These guys can get reps now while it's only one padded practice a day. You can get the reps in. You can you can absolutely see what you need to can see out of a quarterback in practice. So and certainly you like the games when you're playing behind the first line and with the first receivers and running back and see how you adjust to different things. But I, I do like what he I thought he had an excellent uh, certainly preseason games, so you have to believe his practices were going well as well. You know, he's he's just he's a six one, two hundred fifteen pound quarterback. I like his arm. I like I like the decisions. That's the biggest thing. One, you know, you look at physical stature all the time. Is he big? Is he small? Does he run? What does he do? But I'll I'll continue to say it. You can have all the athletic ability in the world, but if you can't play the game from the neck up, you're not going to be able to play. And it's about making decisions. It's about making pre-snap reads. It's about knowing where you believe you're going to be going with the ball, how quickly you can make that decision and deliver the ball. And, and, and give him credit. This was an open competition, and he played better than the other guy. This is one of those, the way you like to see it. If there is truly an open competition, no former this guy, former that guy, first-round pick, 10-year vet, whatever it is, you got your chance. And he made the most of his chance. And he's going to be the starting quarterback. So congrats to him. I think he deserves it. You know, Rex has always loved a guy who was a running threat. He made that very clear when he was the coach of the Jets that he hated as a defensive coordinator coaching against that. So you figure that factors into this. The one thing, you know, Chris made this point yesterday, Mike, sitting in here, CC did. They got a lot of weapons. You know, his job is going to not just be to run with that football. He's got to get the ball to Sammy Watkins. They've got Shady McCoy, who not only will run it, but will catch it out of the backfield. They've got a tight end who can catch the ball. They've got got weapons on that offense. So they've got a chance to be good. If he's good, they've got a chance to be really good. So 